The jury has gone home for the night in the murder trial of Quinn James. He's accused of murdering 16-year-old East Kentwood student Muje Dumbuya. Muje was set to testify against James in her rape case. Muje was last seen leaving her Grand Rapids area home last year to head to school. Her body was found days later in a wooded area in Kalamazoo. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker joins us live from the Kent County Courthouse now with an update. Heather? This jury is made up of half women and half men. They've listened to seven days of testimony and evidence ending today with closing arguments. Recorded phone calls of Quinn James talking about Mujay dying. Text messages that prosecutors say prove he was trying to get a gun and hire a hitman. Renting vehicles, trail cameras showing that same rented car going to and from the area where her body was found. Whoever is dumping the body, do it in this vehicle. And it just happens to be the same make and model as a vehicle the defendant is driving and rented for that, that time period. A pathologist said it appeared her clothes and body had bleach poured over them, and her genes included DNA from James found in a fold. Blood matching DNA from Mujay found in the back of that rental car. Cell phone pings placing James in the area of Mujay's home and bus stop the day before she disappeared. Small bruises on her arm consistent with being grabbed, and an alibi for James that proved to be fake. The evidence in this case is overwhelming. The defense argued that police pointed the finger at James from the beginning and refused to look anywhere else. The defense also threw out the theory that she wasn't kidnapped, instead left on her own, saying she had plans to run away. So she tells two individuals that she's going to run away, and she does. But the prosecutor pointed out that her book bag found on the side of 131 northbound was filled with school books, not clothing or other cherished items. Something wouldn't fit if he didn't do it, but everything fits. Jury deliberation will continue tomorrow morning at 8.30. Reporting live in the Kent County Courthouse, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8.